welcome back to part two. What we are going to do now is make the camera and some background. So we start off by making a raw image by UI raw image. Then once we have that, we'll make a new script called camera as background. We'll add it to the raw image. Okay, so once we've done that, uh, let's go back to Mono Develop and go further. Okay, so we'll start with a raw image, a new variable called a raw image, and we'll call it just we'll just call it our image. Uh, then we want to import the Unity Engine .ui. So raw image isn't red anymore. And then we'll make a, a webcam texture called cam. Okay, and then image is get component raw image and cam is new webcam texture and we'll do screen dot width screen dot height so it fits with the screen. Then we will say image the texture is cam and then cam dot play. Okay, so we've made a new webcam texture. This will turn on your webcam. Then we set the image texture to cam and then we set cam dot play. This will turn on our webcam. Okay, so once we go back to Unity, everything is done and we will build it. So once you build it, we'll be back. Once we've uh, built the app, uh, we can tell that we have a little uh, block here. You can't really see it good, but it's there. And it's the input from the camera. But the camera is rotated uh 90 degrees and it's not full screen so we will fix this in unity so let's get back okay so once we are back in unity we'll add a aspect ratio fitter to our raw image we'll change its aspect mode to height controls width and we'll change our height to 1280 that's the same as our uh, scaling mode, as aspect mode. So 1280, 1280. If it's 600, we'll change it to 600. But it's 1280, so we'll do 1280. Then we'll go to canvas, and we will change our uh, render mode to screen space camera, and our UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Then we will add a new camera, we'll call this camera background, camera, or just that, background, camera, and there's it there, we'll change our clear flex to solid color, and our depth to minus two, make sure the position is reset. Then we'll go back to our canvas and change our camera in our canvas to background camera. So it will be rendered on top of this. And then we'll change our main camera to clear flags, depth only, and cooling mask to uncheck UI. Then go back to background camera and change our killing mask to nothing and then only UI. Okay, so now we have the raw image as a background. We can check by changing the color. As you can see, our background is the raw image now. Okay, so once you've done this, go to Mono Develop and then We'll add a private variable 
aspect ratio filter and call this arf then in our start function we'll say arf is get component aspect ratio filter and in our update we will check if our cam that width is less than 100 if it's less than 100 we will say return this way we've checked if the camera is on if it's off uh, the camera that width is smaller than 100 okay then we'll make a float called a cw needed and we'll set this to minus cam video rotation angle. Then we'll check if our cam is vertically mirrored. If it's vertically mirrored, we'll add 180 uh, to our CW needed. So CW needed plus is 180F. Okay, then we will change our cam, oh, our image dot rect transform dot local Euler angles to new factor tree zero f zero f cw needed. This way, our image is rotated accordingly to our camera so if our camera is uh, rotated like it's not in landscape mode in a portrait the image will rotate then we'll create a new float and we'll call it video ratio and video ratio is equal to cam width divided by cam dot height make sure one of these variables is cost to float i'll just do both otherwise we'll get a integer instead of a float okay so once we've done that we will uh, change our aspect ratio fitters aspect ratio to video ratio Okay, so once we've done this, go back into Unity and build it. The app is installed, open it again. And you can see the camera is working. You can't really tell because of my camera, but it works. Okay, now the only thing we need to make sure is that our keys, uh, our camera isn't mirrored. So we'll go back to Unity to fix this. Once we are back in Unity, uh, we can add a fake shadow. I've already done this. Just uh, add a quad and apply this texture to it. You can make this texture with Photoshop or Paint.net. It's just a circle with the transparency going up the further it goes to the middle uh, okay just apply it rotate the quad 90 degrees and then we go back to model develop and we'll add a if statement if camera dot video vertically mirrored so if it's mirrored then we'll change our image UV rect to is new rect 1, 0, minus 1, and 1. And if it's not vertically mirrored, so else image that UV rect is new rect 0, 0, 1, and 1. Okay. So once you've done that, you're done, and you can build this. Build, um, well we can't really see the difference from the start, but if you had a problem where the image was flipped, like mirrored, 
uh, it should be fixed right now. Uh, also, I can't find the object right now. My gyroscope is a little bad. But uh, if you can see the gyroscope, you can tell that it's the fake shadow. So that was it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.